Hello, this is Luis, and in this video I'm going to show you a very fast way to start the development of multi-agent systems by using the Jade platform. And this is done by using a project that integrates Jade and the Maven Dependencies Manager in one project. So let's see what we will see through the video. I tell you where to get this Jade Maven project, what's the basic structure of it, and especially the section where you will be placing your agents, how to build the project, and how to run Jade platform with arguments. Okay, so let's start. First, you have to go to github.com and in there, please search for the Jade Maven repository. It's a repository that I just built, uh, created for you. Under this button of clone and download, download it as a zip file, please. Okay, you will extract it. And then please go to IntelliJ and we will go to that folder but we are interested not to open the actual IntelliJ project but I'm interested to open the POM file. This is the heart of a Maven project. This is where I put my dependencies and how the project is built. Open as a project, click on delete existing project and import. And now we have here our project. After this is done, go to the lower left corner and find the Maven Projects uh, user interface. Over here go to Lifecycle and we will use this build package. Okay? This is the item that we will click every time we make modifications to our code to build the jar file. I will click on it and what is happening here is that Maven it is downloading all the libraries that I have declared in my, in my project is downloading them from uh, internet in case I don't have them locally and it's going to package all my classes, all my Jade uh, jar libraries in case of using JSON libraries, it's going to put them in one file that is a jar file, this one demo Jade with dependency, so this is a very beautiful file, it has everything over here, all my agents so now I tell you where you put the source code of your agents you have to navigate through source main, java, agents, and in here you will paste or you will put the code that define the behaviors of your agents. This is a simple example from the Jade platform. It's exactly the same uh, pink agent platform, a uh, pink agent that comes as an example. The only thing that I have to modify is that the package now is agents, now it's in this folder. That's the only thing that you have to do, okay? So every time you modify some agent over here, you just have to go to package to build again the jar file. Now everything is here. Now once you have put some code, some logic on your agents, you want to test it. So to do that, give right click on this file, run demo Jade snapshot with dependencies, and it's gonna fail. That's okay because I haven't tell Jade with which parameters it should initialize. To do that, I go to run edit configurations and here I have to put program arguments I'm gonna say please start the graphical user interface and I'm gonna start also some agents one agent Luis from my packages agents and it's gonna be of the type pink agent this is the classic example in, used in Jade so okay so now every time I run my GR file it's gonna run with these parameters click on OK, let's run it again now it's initializing my Jade platform and voila, now it's running here if I go to the container of agents, now I see that Luis agent has been initialized please, every time you want to stop your platform to make some changes do it from this button, this red square to stop, terminate the process you terminate it from here, you modify your agents you click on package, then you come back here again and you run it again. Or you can run it also from this play button over here. Okay guys, uh, this is gonna make faster the starting up process for developing your agents. Have a nice multi-agent system experience. See you in the lecture.